Jennifer is a divorced entrepreneur and world traveler. She's looking for a confident man who speaks her language. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Are you French? No. Oh. <laughs> Why? Parlez vous français? Un petit peu. Un petit peu. Oui, oui. At my age, if you haven't been divorced, I'm probably a little bit more leery of you than if, <laughs> than if you're still single. <laughs> Older established men are they are good dates. <laughs> Do you know anything about your date tonight? I don't. So this could be her right here. Uh. Jennifer's date is Doug, a successful home builder and devoted father of three. I think I'm more of a Fred Flintstone guy. <laughs> I don't think of myself as sexy. Who, after 21 years of marriage, is now rebuilding his own identity. Being married to Bill Gates' sister had its share of excitement and perks. It wasn't something I didn't like, but it wasn't my identity at all. Hello, sir. <laughs> this is your date. Ah. Hi, I'm uh, Doug. Doug? Yes. Jennifer. Jennifer, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> I'm looking for a man who absolutely is confident, who has the same adventurous spirit. That rock in your life to share things with is important to me. Are you Seattle area born and raised? No, no. California born, okay. raised in Montana. Oh, OK. If you look at the western side of Montana, it looks like a face. And there's like a little nose. I grew up like right in the middle of the nose. There's a Charles Schwab built a, like a golf club community there. Oh my gosh, there. this is dog park. I was just there. Oh, my, my birthday was last week. Oh, yeah? And I had dinner up there. It's really wonderful. That's so amazing that you know about that place. Because it is, it's a pretty special place. Um, do you travel? To date, I've been to 30. Eight countries. Wow. Once I get Guatemala off the list, will be 39. I've lived in five. Uh, can you speak languages? Or uh, so my Spanish is very good. My French you speak quite good. That is so impressive. <laughs> I feel like I can carry myself off as a, a polished guy, but inside I'm a I'm a small town dude. It, it's intimidating how well traveled you are. It shouldn't be at all. Okay, so if you have a woman over for dinner, what do you cook her? Oh, Italian. Uh. <laughs> You've got Francophiles, so is there like Italian files? Like, what's I think I'm a tomato file, I don't know. <laughs> tomato. <laughs> How about you, you have kids? No, no kids. We have um, two cats, which that keeps us busy enough. <laughs> we, my, my ex and I, we have these two little kitties that we got, and so we'll share custody. You've got this great energy and funny, bubbly thing going on. Thank you. What happened? Who let you get away? <laughs> we were married for six years. It's just one of those things where we probably just weren't meant to be married. There was just an intimacy aspect of um, our relationship that was lacking. I was missing something. And if I was to be faithful and keep my vows and have respect for this man, I couldn't, I couldn't stay. I couldn't, I just couldn't stay. I want to be very cautious the next time yeah. I pursue the right relationship. You know, feeling like you can be desired again, too. I think it, it felt confusing sometimes to be not desired. Yeah. Yeah. So have you been married? Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Married, good. three That's kids. Good. Really? Yeah. In your case, you've got three kids. So your decision was probably harder than mine. It wasn't my decision. OK. Oh, I, I enjoyed being married, and I wish it had worked out. There's still some very real pain. Do you think it's ruined you? Don't ever feel like you're, you're ruined. Yeah, well, I was using that reference to whether I could trust somebody else enough to love them. I suffered during the end of my marriage, and I'd been through so much, it was just, I was just done. I mean, I think it's going to sting for no, a really I, long time. How long were you married for? 21 years. You're kind of still fresh. I would think after being married for 21 years, only just now, after five years, and gotcha. I was only married for six years, just now, starting to feel normal again, just now, right? I don't know, I get to sit across to meet interesting people like you, so yeah. it's not such a bad thing, I don't think. I don't know what happened that, that could have dented 
your confidence in yourself, but as someone who just met you, I mean, I think, I think you're a great girl. And Thank you. That's not, I think likewise. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I wasn't fishing for a compliment, but I'll take it. Oh, but it's true though, right? Oh, so are you a dessert guy or no? Are you a dessert girl? Hell yeah. We could do like the farmer's market crisp. I love that idea. Okay. Some of the qualities I saw in Jen, I mean, she's she's very attractive. She's really smart, and she's wicked funny. <laughs> so I, I have a confession to make. I could not be less in your world. I mean, I I wear boots. I get dirty, dirty. and I feel a little bit like a fraud actually being here with you. But a f a what a what a, a fraud. Fraud? Yes, fraud. Okay, that's an interesting choice of words. You're so polished, so sophisticated. I'm not a fancy guy. So, just something you should know about me. <laughs> Would you like to see each other again? I'd, I'd love to see Jen again. I had a great time. I just wasn't sure we had the connection that I would hope for. Mm, I wondered about that too. Do you want to stay and finish your wine? Are you ready to no, go? No, I think that's fine. No, I don't need to finish it. Okay. Me feeling like you were always comparing yourself to me was at some level, um, not attractive. Mm -hmm. I was frustrated that you didn't feel like you were good enough for me, and you are. So that was frustrating to me. Frustrating. Because you shouldn't. <sighs> You're a good guy. Well, you thank gotta you. embrace that, man. Thank you. You gotta. Thank you Thank so much. You. Nice to have Thank you. Thank you. It was lovely. Nice to have you. Even though it is hard for me to get turned down, I actually appreciate, you know, her honesty about that. Bye bye. Bye. I don't think about meeting women like Jen because I think they're, you know, too good for me. So, kind of a self fulfilling prophecy there, maybe. Ultimately, what do you want? Well, I guess I, I want to feel like I'm loved and important to somebody.